Yes, well, yes, Mary yes, Q indeed. finished typing. No, we won't. <laughs> yes, the loudest keyboard in the universe, as we are well aware, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Co Optional Lounge. Some nice chilled out board gaming today. It's going to have to be chilled out because I appear to have pulled a pectoral tendon. You know what that means? If I talk too much and what breathe you... too hard, it really hurts. What were you? How'd you? What were you doing to? Pull I that? well, I was. I lifted a monitor, and okay. I took the monitor upstairs. I walked it down the path, and then I unpacked it and put it on the stand and everything. And I have a feeling that in doing that, I may have pulled a pectoral muscle. Jeez. Oh, TV, my monitor's really heavy. I mean, it is a very heavy <laughs> monitor. Was it a CTR monitor? Like an 80-pound like monitor? CRT monitor. monitor. That's still it's pretty CRT. heavy. That's still pretty heavy. He's just showing off. He's I don't just think showing it's off major. Away. I don't think it's a huge hey, problem. Hey, man, but... I remember when the monitors were as heavy as me, and I'm like... How do you carry? I just put well, it on like a wagon. That doesn't very much. You weigh about 25 <laughs> pounds. That's not really a relevant number. Hey, I can still carry it. Oh, dear. What it we have to the wagon. here on the uh, screen for you right now is something called Role Player. And we're going to learn this along with you. As I, I've read some of the rules, and I it, this is the way sort of things always go. I think uh, it works the same for uh, Dan as well, that we don't learn board games very well. Unless we just we take the rule book and then we play it and then we and then it all clicks, right? Yeah, so there, there comes a point for a while. I'll be like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I get it. There, there has to be that click point. But yeah, that does. Yeah, there's there's always that point where everything clicks. Yeah, I have Ooh, to say with, with the people that I was playing Hero Realms with after you left that click point game a lot later than it did with you, but it did come <laughs> eventually, which is yeah, it was three o'clock in the morning and they were drunk. Very. As was pretty much everyone in that room, so I'm not yes. so surprised. I can't necessarily blame them all that much. Okay, <laughs> so the purpose of role player, and I have the wonderful rule book here. <laughs> in role player, you compete with your opponents to create the greatest fantasy pen and paper adventurer who has ever lived. Cool. Preparing to embark on an epic quest, roll and draft dice to build up your character's attributes. Buy weapons and armor to outfit your hero train to gain skills and to discover your hero's traits in order to prepare them for their journey. Earn reputation stars by constructing the perfect character. The player with the greatest reputation wins the game and will surely triumph over whatever nefarious plot lies ahead. Ooh. Simple as that. Okay. Now, the game consists of a bag of dice. This is, there's going to be a lot of dice drafting in this game. You can see the bag of dice over there. 73 mm -hmm. dice in total of different colors. Six character sheets of which we do have i believe these these right here are the character sheets for some reason in this version they're upside down we don't know why that is at least when he's zoom in we'll <laughs> we'll deal with that in a minute um you, there are six charisma tokens whatever a charisma token is uh we'll figure that one out in a second track the tracking tokens 104 cards four player raid cards six class cards there's backstory cards alignment cards market cards and initiative cards it's assuming that we are not missing components here and i certainly hope that we're not missing components here these are the alignment <laughs> cards these are the backstory cards i believe like savage you are sausage. raised by wolves it's not sausage we had this today <laughs> prior to the show your origin story can't be sausage, sausage. <laughs> it, oh my god it can uh, it totally is if you're savage you're totally sausage from okay on. all right so you're allowed, to, you're allowed to take Savage, and it can be Sausage, but you have to rewrite the backstory. And <laughs> when you take that card, you have to read off the new Sausage Origin backstory. So start oh writing God. that. Start writing <laughs> it. You get to it. You get a couple of minutes to write that backstory. Go. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, I'll walk you through some ideas. So the character sheet, which is this nice big thing down here, and I'll zoom in to show you what's going on with that. There you go. And the character sheet has got a bunch of different spots on it. So all of those attribute spots right there, they're all empty right now. There's 18 spaces that make up six attribute rows. You enhance your character with skills, traits, armor, and weapons. Those are all on the side of the board there. You can see them to the edge. That enhances the character. The sheet is also used to track the character's alignment. Note that sheet has both a male and female side, which differ only in the illustration. In this version, that is not true. In the actual board version, there is a male and female version of each of these, uh, but they don't differ in stats in any way. So just bear that in mind. It's just the way it is. Tabletop sim version is not necessarily complete. Which, and there the probably is a good reason for that, because this game only just came back in stock. I believe it was done on uh, Kickstarter. They did a first run of it. It was incredibly popular. 
sold out everywhere, and that meant that in the UK, a copy of Roleplay cost £120, which is a tad unreasonable. And mm. they re-released it recently. I got mine for $25, which is significantly more reasonable. And hopefully it won't be out of stock. You look at him. He has <laughs> eyes of gold. <laughs> eyes of gold. <laughs> So you can see the big areas for each of these and the way that all of these are work work is they're going to provide you with sort of like a school grid. So let's say for instance that I grabbed myself an alignment card here. There's a scoundrel right there. There's a guardian. These are sort of all based on the class that I choose, I believe. So you'd end up taking that. You'd look at it and say, all right, well, as a scoundrel, you're going to get, you're going to score extra points for turning your alignment to a evil. version of evil and you're gonna lose points for being good because you're a scoundrel there aren't enough scoundrels in your life so you sort of pop that there and... believe me there are <laughs> it's like, i happen to like nice men oh, right. bring okay. me a paladin any day baby there is a paladin in there somewhere uh, i think it might be called a guardian or a seeker or something but yeah those are there so you got your backstory, you got your class thing. A lot of this is going to be dealt out in the process. So let us do the setup and then we can work from there. What's the one, two, three, four, five thing? Uh, I the believe middle. they're initiative cards and that's going to okay. be relevant to like who does what in what order. Oh, okay. All right. So you don't forget what order you're in. Yeah. And that's the how you don't forget. The five initiative <laughs> cards used to coordinate the flow of gameplay. Dice and gold are placed on initiative cards at the beginning of each round. Players then take turns selecting an initiative card. One assumes there's probably an advantage to picking a later initiative. You probably get bonuses for that, because otherwise, why on earth would you ever want to be last in Well, two, stuff? three, and four have gold on them, so yes, I'm not sure. Yes, I what believe that means. that's how it works. Uh, I think. But five doesn't. Well, the interesting thing about five is that five it would only work in a four-player game. So Where I think four? that there's some weird stuff about that. This is four and five are uh, four players. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. It'll, it'll tell us. <laughs> I'm <All> reading. Right. <laughs> okay. First things first, all players roll a dice. The highest uh, is the starting player. Okay, so I'm going to take a dice out, roll your dice, and then put it back in the bag. I got a three. Don't roll multiple dice. That's uh, cheating. I got, I five got a five. <laughs> I, okay. I got a five. All right. So Maggie goes first. Pop these back in the bag of dice right here. Nice. The bag of dice. You, you're in the bag of dice. There we go. That's much, much better. Impressive. Okay. <laughs> impressive. Wow. Impressive. Really... Most impressive. <laughs> a low standard for me, All right. Beginning with the starting player and proceeding clockwise around the table, each player chooses a character sheet, which we've kind of already done. So mm -hmm. that's not a problem. Each player takes oh. five gold from the Chesto gold. Chesto gold. Okay. He does not two. put it on their face. Oh. Oh. Why not? Wait, just where don't. do I put it if I don't put it on my face? Um, you can put it on the... Oh, fine, fine. Put it on the face, then. Okay. What, what, whatever, whatever you like. Put it on the face. Uh, the interesting rule, if we're playing with three players, which we are, the third player takes an extra gold, that being the person that rolled last. So... Yay! Oh, yeah. cheater. Yeah, so he gets one extra gold, and that's to compensate for the fact that he's going to get screwed by going later die. than we are. Okay. I'll give my elf googly eyes. All right, now we've done that. Beginning with the start <laughs> player and proceeding clockwise around the table, each player draws a random die from the dice bag, takes the class card of that matching color, and chooses one of the two classes on the card, because you can flip them over. So, Maggie, if you draw a dice from the dice bag... Okay. And I shake it? Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, all we know is you have a black dice, so... Oh. In terms of classes, what you want to look for is the black card, which I... Uh, is I'm this a rogue. Uh, you're either a rogue or a thief. One of the two. Oh, shit. So okay. choose one and put it on your class section right there. Uh, um, one of those famous sneaky dwarf it. rogues. I'm going to look at it. Hold on. Yeah, have a look. You'll notice there, like, it's kind of got a set of ideal character traits. Oh, like obviously as a thief, this? you know, um, if you hold, yeah, if you, you can rotate it that way. The zoom is only half working for some reason. And you're going to notice like, hey, these are ideal stats that we're sort of shooting for. And you'll also notice that each class has a special ability. Oh. 
So I'm gonna think, draw one now. Okay. I don't know what's important yet. I don't know if gold is more important or. There you go. Hard to say. Well, this I drew red. Okay. So, oh, do I get to be the famous halfling berserker? Probably. <laughs> I, a halfling barbarian or a halfling <laughs> warrior? Okay. Let's have a little gander. Ooh. So I want lots of strength in con. After buying an armor card, I can take contribution attribute. Okay. And as regards to the Barbarian, I can equip up to four hands worth of weapon cards. So that means I can probably dual wield, dual wield weapons. I'll go with the uh, Warrior, I think. Halfling Warrior, yes. The famous <laughs> Halfling Warrior. Dwarf. I don't know if I want to be a rogue or a thief. I'm wondering if the alignment marker thing is more important. Um, I, I don't, I don't really necessarily think so. Um, no Q, do you want to draw a thing from there? Pow! Oh, it's my card. Oh yeah, that would be a bit of a problem. I guess you're gonna have to draw again if that happens. Pow! <laughs> there you go, you got something from yellow. Yeah, oh, yellow. Let's see, there are no yellows. <laughs> Should be. You sure it's not under a, under a card somewhere? <laughs> I don't. I only see green, purple. That exist? <laughs> is this is this yellow? Is brown yellow? Is I cleric guess. yellow? It's white. Is that a white dice? Should we keep drawing dice to see what color all the dice are? It might oh, be a good yeah. idea because if they've set the dice the wrong color, this could be a problem. Blue, blue, purple. I, I don't think there's a white dice. I think it's yellow. I think yellow is. No, there's oh, a white dice. I found oh. a white dice. So what's missing then? Uh, something yellow. A yellow card is missing. Can I just get loads of gold? Can I just be gold? Oh, I mean, there's we, a green? There's, there's Do we green, have a green? green? There's green, sorry, down there. <laughs> <laughs> this is huh. like a bag of holding of dice. Well, I'm I mean, into it. I mean, there's green, purple, there's green, white. Actually, hang on, so yellow, yellow is gold. So oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so there are. <laughs> yeah, the, so the yellow dice are gold dice. They don't count. <laughs> Can you please oh. put them all back now? <laughs> yes. Uh, there we go. Put them back in. Yeah, so go basically draw until you get a color that matches. Green! Green, there you go. Okay. I'm, a, I'm an elf ranger. Oh, that's the thing. Oh, oh you're like... Well, you can flip it. Elf oh. druid. Elf ranger Ooh. or an elf druid. You make For your the choice. the market phase, you may return one card from the discard pile to the market. Or... It's upside down. I have to read that thing. Yeah. Gain one gold after using a skill card. Hello, that my ranger. Handy. Hello, my darling. Hello, my good time gal. Yeah, and even write it here. If the drawn dice is gold or matches another player's color, continue to draw until you get a unique one. Um, okay. Once all players have a class card, return all <laughs> dice to the dice bag. Shuffle the deck of backstory cards and the deck of alignment cards separately. All right. I'll leave sausage on top. <laughs> You know, actually, we just flipped them over. Should you flip them over? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, shouldn't you flip like, them you, over? <laughs> quiet, you. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, there's the alignment cards. All right. And the class cards we can just put out of the way somewhere. So we don't screw with them. Okay. Deal know, one backstory card and one alignment card to each player. Take one of each. Okay. I'm taking one All of right. each. I'm also taking one of each. How do I make myself a private box so you can't see it? You sh well, they're going to be public, I believe, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't oh. matter. Is he going to be putting them on your character sheet? I, never, I don't know that, then. Oh, okay. So we can flip them over now? Pretty much. I, 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 am a, I was a craftsman. I'm a hermit. I am the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we put our hermit? A lot. You put it over the bit uh, that says you got backstory. They both basically fit perfectly, so. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and the chosen one and a sociopath. Lovely. Uh, the other way. There you go. So that yeah, one goes. That's what up. I had. It yeah, you got it. So. Right. I'm a brawler. Craftsman. My father was a blacksmith, and you grew up in his shop. You discovered you had a natural gift at the anvil, but found the hunger for adventure stronger. So you're gonna notice some. Um, things lined up here that are going to give you some bonuses, and I'll explain those in a minute. And then your alignment card is going to say, look, what alignment should you really be by the end of this game? In my case, apparently the Arbiter is very big on the whole lawful thing. But ev lawful evil's fine too. 
but they would prefer lawful neutral. And when it comes to chaotic, not a fan of that. Not really. <laughs> I'm a brawler. You spent years as a punching bag in the local taverns. This is hard to read because the font is weird. Scrapping with other fighters. Yeah, fighters for gold. You've developed a bit of a limp. Oh, no. <laughs> and often speak of yourself in the third person. Oh, no. Great. No, perfect. Why? We should swap. You. That's, so just That's just me. That one. All right. Well, your character needs a name then because you need to be able to speak about yourself in the third person. So okay. come up uh, with a name for your character. Oh, ooh, chat. Come up with a name for this guy. Oh, don't rely on that. <laughs> oh, they will come up with the best names. All right. Okay. I will I will let them. I'll let you handle it. I that. am Dooge the Dwarf. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> what is your backstory? All right. Well, that's, I'm a, an sociopathic elf who is also the chosen one. You were born with a sacred mark. According to the prophecies, you are destined to have a great power and influence in the kingdom of Roman Reigns. Oh, okay. great. Love oh, that. wow. You're Roman like a... Reign. Yeah. Bah, bah. Uh, but Where did you end up going? Dru Druid or Ranger? Oh, Ranger. You went Ranger. Yeah. One of those elven flippy shit guys. I wouldn't exactly yeah. say Roman Reigns then. <clears throat> okay. Cool. We've done that. So we need to separate the market cards into single dot and double dot card piles, <laughs> which I believe are conveniently already done for us. I am going to hope that that is true. I'm just double checking to make sure that is the case. Single oh, his name is Bort. Yeah. His name is Bort, for sure. I'm sure. Bort my, the Dwarf. Sorry, my, my, my son is also named Bort. All right. <laughs> okay, so they're already separated. That's good. If playing with three players, discard three cards from each hand. Okay, we will do that. Okay. I will if handle that. If I remember rightly, Bort is one of the names that Codsworth will say in Fallout 4. Yeah. <laughs> one of his programmed names. All right. There we go. So, I mean, Pyre has Bay. What more could you ask for? <laughs> All right, cool. So we've taken those out there. Shuffle the pile separately. Place the single dot on top of the double dot. Okay, so I guess this uh, sort of makes the less powerful stuff available right. first. There we go. Cool. So that's now the market deck. Line the up the market. initiative cards in the center of the table in numerical order. That's already been done. With three players, return the five card to the box. Bye-bye. Goodbye, oh. five. With two players, you also remove four. This way, the number of initiative cards in play equals the number of face-up market cards in play. Place one gold on each initiative card that is neither first nor last in numerical order. So, in other words, two and three get it. Mm-hmm. Not four. No, not not four. four. Yeah, said so first or last. Cool. Oh, right in the middle. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. That was better. That was better. Yep. I know, I failed. Okay. For three <laughs> players, you, you place one. Yeah, so you place one and two and three. Yeah, we're totally right. Okay. Beginning with the starting player, each player randomly draws their starting dice from the bag. The number of dice each player draws is equal to the number of players plus four. So you'll be drawing seven dice. Cool. So Do we we'll go one at a time? Uh, yeah, you, you're the starting player. Um... I was going to okay. say, I, I would do the, there is a draw seven option. I, oh. think, I think if you just hit seven on the, if you just hit the seven key on the bag of dice, it'll take seven out for oh. you. Try that. I hit seven. Nothing Didn't happening. do anything? Okay. Or do I have to hold and then seven? You can try that. No. No, that, that doesn't work either. Nothing. There is a way. Uh, Hang on. Let, let, me, let me see. Hmm. Maybe not. I think... I I remember there was a way to grab like multiple cards too. So. Yeah, that, I think that's done that way, but I guess the bag of dice doesn't work that way. Maybe All I'm right. doing it wrong. Is it click the bag, then hit seven? Or seven, then hit click the bag? No, it's still only full one. All right, well, I'll just take them manually then. Okay. <laughs> I'm destined to have a green dice. <laughs> Do I roll them? Not yet. you got to get all seven out first. The number of dice each player draws equal to the number of players plus four, yeah? So it's seven. Alright. I have seven. Yep. Cool. I'm gonna draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Some of those dice change color when you pull them out. It's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> I just vaguely threw mine in my direction. Alright. So you have a pool of dice, right? Yep. 
So now what you do is each player rolls their starting dice and arranges them on the character sheet in the spaces of their attribute rows following some guidelines. Let's roll them up oh. first. Roll okay. them up first and then I'll tell you what the guidelines are as to how this works. Oh, this is very satisfying. Yes, it should be. I mean, it's like rolling up a character in uh, an RPG, except that's like all, almost all the game. Is. Whenever you let go of the dice so they roll, it's very unsatisfying, though. Uh, yeah, you've got to like, um, I think there's a physics option that lets you lift them higher, which helps and makes them oh, roll okay. a lot more. I don't as to whether or not I actually want to let it do that. <laughs> okay. Let it, I'm gonna true, true. You probably don't want to let there it do that. There you go. It. Try it. Uh, if, if you wish to try it again now, Okay, you should, you I guess should if find we're all doing a bit it. Better. I'm gonna just, just don't demolish it. half the board with it, eh? Yeah, oh, go. shit. Oh, didn't work. Did I one should, fall off? God damn it, I should Run have just put a dice tower in this model. And then we wouldn't have had this problem. Go. The last time we used the dice tower in this game, the dice got stuck in the tower because the <laughs> physics was too good. <laughs> you really had to fight them out. Yeah, it was a little silly, I have to admit. Okay, so we've well, done that, great. Shit, man. I think I had better rolls before, fuck. Yes, but you had more satisfying rolls this time. Right, <laughs> so here's how it goes. It's all a plot for TV to lower my stats. Yes, that, that was what was it. You totally didn't do it of your own volition. Right, okay, <laughs> so here's how it goes. Here's the guidelines for arranging them on the character sheet. Dice must be placed in the leftmost empty space in an attribute row. So you see your attribute okay. row, strength, dex, mm -hmm. con, etc. Go and place in the leftmost space. Attribute actions are not taken during setup. For each attribute row that is filled with three dice, you gain one gold. For each Ooh. gold die drawn, you gain two gold. Hooray. The exception being the thief, who takes four gold for each gold die drawn instead of two. Give me all of them, but I have no gold. Ah, oh. You'll be able to get it at some other point, no doubt. All right, so we have to figure out where to put them. And bear in mind, if you look at your... Stats. Class character and stats, you'll clearly see what you're trying to get. Oh, is that what we're aiming for? Yes, if possible. Okay. It looks like there's, I, I believe, this sort of backstory thing also lines up to the colors, and if you get specific dice colors in specific squares, you're going to gain bonuses. Ooh. So just bear that in mind. There might be a way for you to do that. So, for instance... If I put the white die, which I wish would rotate, there we go, in the first square of dexterity, I'm pretty sure that that's going to give me a bonus later on in the game. I've done the same with green on mine, but it's a six. I'm like, you're five. <laughs> you got to think about what's your priority. With me, int, obviously not so much of a priority. Con. I've got to the, con everyone, apparently. The dice must be placed in the leftmost empty space in an attribute row. Yep. Yeah. Far as way, you don't have to go down in order, so... As Why do I have seven? So you just have an extra dice? Well, you think you can then put it in the... Once you fill them, you can put one in the second oh. row. Shit, okay. That's my Damn. understanding of it. So you probably want to put it in one where, like... If you have to put all the dice on. You can do maths. Um, I, w I will find out whether, whether you have to put all the dice on. It did say roll your starting dice and arrange them on the character sheet, so I'm going to assume you probably should do that. Cool. You won't be getting this many dice every time. Let me put it that way. Ah, okay. Because this is the setup phase, and then we start to play it in a bit of a different way. Oh, we're still setting up, right. Yeah. So have a look at your scores. Try and arrange them as you want to. Focus on the stats, which are going to be good, useful to you. Like, some good rules, yeah. Some terrible stuff here, but I'm doing well. It's like intelligence? Nah, intelligence is for the weak. Yeah, my intelligence is one. Or the crafty. Mm. Like a daily narrator. I know about that. I have too many ones, so I kind of have to put them in everything. Well, you'll get chances to fill them up with better stuff later. I get minus two strength thanks to being a goddamn halfling. The, the halfling warrior really working out well for me here. So I need a five here. I get minus two on my con. No. Oh, oh you can uh, change the zoom rotate by hitting Q and E while zooming in, by the way. So you can fix e? that problem. Yeah. Uh-oh. Except it only fixes it 
briefly and then goes right back to where it was. So it's of limited value. All right, cool. You've taken your dice and everything, then that's cool. Oop, made a mistake. Make sure you get some gold for every one of the gold die that you drew. So in my case, I get four, four gold because I drew. Keep rubbing it in. It there. I get six. I got gold. none. I got none. Not a good start and draw, but we're not done yet. I'm a thief. I'll just steal all of yours. <laughs> this is mine, and this is mine. Stay These great. are mine. Stay <laughs> Damn, how much have I got now? Ah, oh, made me lose count. Great, okay, I need to. Yep. Um, it looks like I've put some sort of like filter on the face. Oh yeah, hashtag no filter. Yes, this is called the gold filter. The new <laughs> Snapchat uh, bling filter. Yep. Future reference, incidentally, we could have filled an entire trait row if we wanted. You've just got to go from the leftmost first. You don't have okay. to fill in all of your traits. I did, yeah, with. I did that. Cool. Initially, and then I thought, oh, I have one, so I probably have to if you separate did, yeah, them. Yeah, if you did fill something, you do gain an extra gold as a result of that. Yeah, if I had a five, I would totally put this here, and then mm -hmm. I'd have the max int that I need. But All right. Sadness. Cool. So now I'm going to give you the overview of how the rounds work, and that's how we're going to play from here. Okay. Overview of a round. Role player is played over a series of rounds, each divided into four phases. The roll phase, the dice phase, the market phase, and the cleanup phase. Roll phase. During the roll phase, the start player draws dice from the dice bag equal to the number of initiative cards in play and rolls them to create the dice pool. So in our case, with three players, you're going to take four and you're going to make a dice pool. Now, this is where things get interesting because these dice Thank don't you. belong to you. So yeah. if you wouldn't mind, uh, as a starting player, drawing four dice and placing them here... Hold on. I'm having internal struggles. Oh. Rearranging. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Decision paralysis. <laughs> okay. Right. What do you want me to do? Draw four, four dice from the bag and place them here. And place them. Because those were the only dice you get for free. No, don't place them on yours. Place it here. This is a pool okay. that we're all going to be taking from. Ooh. Okay, the start player then places the lowest value die on the one initiative card, the second lowest value on the two, and so on until all initiative cards have a dice on them. Oh, I'm going to move the gold out of the way then. Uh, I mean, yeah. Cool. If I have a dice with the same value starter, player decides which dice are played. Okay, looks good. All right, the dice phase. During the dice phase, beginning with the starting player and continuing clockwise, players take turns selecting an initiative card, placing a die on their character sheet, collecting gold and taking an attribute action. Select an initiative card with its die and any gold on it. Place it in front of the character sheet. Place your die from the initiative card in the leftmost space of any attribute row. Collect the gold that's on it, if any. And okay. you can, and yeah, once we've done that, we can take an attribute action, and that's an optional thing. After placing a die in an attribute row, the player may take the attribute action associated with that row. So mm. everyone's different abilities have different things you can do, which is allows you to screw with your dice or your opponent's dice in some way. So why don't we start with you, Maggie? You okay. choose first. I'm going to choose this. All right. And it also says... When placing gold die on your character sheet, gain four gold instead of two. Uh huh. So. Yep, it's a logical choice for you. And do I get gold for putting a gold dice on it? Oops, I just messed that up. Well, when you place a gold die, you get four gold instead of two. Yes. Okay. And you also get the gold that was on that initiative card. But does that count as I get more than that? Because this would be putting a gold on my character sheet. Then placing no, a gold die. A gold on your... die. Oh, only gold not, die. Not just, okay. Not, yeah, not just gold. Ha! She's a thief. We can't trust her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> okay. It's like, do I want to take the last initiative for that six? Maybe. I'm thinking take the. I want to take the, the blue four here. Okay. Which gives me a gold. Keep your initiative card in front of you, because that's going to be relevant in a minute. 
And I can put that four somewhere that's maybe not so important. Like I say, need to take the four, the, the six. Because I maybe want to get a higher initiative than you guys for what's coming next. I want what? gold and power. These are, <laughs> these are our initiative cards. That means you get initiative off them. Well, I'll be last. Okay, cool. I get two gold. Give them the gold die. Oh, yeah. All right. Stick. Now, you are able to take an attribute action. So here's what they do, and it's based on where you place it, okay? I like that. So where did you place yours, Maggie? <laughs> oh, man, I missed. Where did I place what? My attribute? Which one? Which one? Hmm? The attribute that you placed. I placed it in Charisma. Okay. That means you could take, if you want, a Charisma action. Placing a die in the Charisma mm. attribute roll allows the player to take a Charisma token. During the market phase this round, the player may spend any Charisma token in place of one gold when buying a market card. Hmm. Now the question is, where are the fucking Charisma tokens? Because I don't... Oh, uh, they're probably these... Oh, they're tracking tokens. I think. They're where? These tracking tokens, I believe, are okay. what those are for. I'm down with trying, just so we can see how it works. I think so. Yeah, let's do it. I sort of did the same thing with the charisma. I just want to see if there's like a reason why we... Is there any reason we shouldn't do this? Uh, let's see. Players may use an attribute action to affect the die that was placed this round or any die placed in a previous round. Only one attribute action may be taken per player in the dice phase. Dice that are moved or have their face values changed as a result of an attribute action don't back. trigger additional attribute actions. <laughs> I was joking. Example, a player places a die in the dexterity attribute row and uses the dexterity attribute action to exchange a die between charisma and strength. This triggers neither the charisma attribute action nor the strength attribute action. Once all okay. players have completed their turn during the dice phase, one initiative card will remain in the center of the table. Okay. That's on purpose. This one. Yep, so, Dan, are you doing a action with the dice that you took? What actions can I do? Which, where did you place it? This one, the six, gold six at the end. And dexterity. Dexterity, dexterity. Yeah. placing a die in the dexterity attribute row allows the player to exchange the placement of any two die on the character sheet without oh. changing their current face values. The player may not move a die to an open space using the action, so you can swap if you want. That's why these are optional, because you might not want to do it. I don't That's cool. want to do that. But I'll I appreciate be... the offer. Thank you very much. All right, cool. All right, once all players complete the turn, yes, uh, one initiative card remains. Blah -de -blah -de -blah. There's another card. The market phase. This, I think, is where initiative comes into play. During the market phase, each player has the opportunity to buy a card from the market. The player order for this phase is dictated by the numbers on the initiative cards that were chosen. The player with the lowest value initiative buys first, followed by the next lowest, etc. To buy a market card, the players pay the cost shown in the upper right-hand corner of the card in gold. The player places the car bought card face up in the appropriate area of the player's character sheet. New cards are not added to the market during the market phase. There is no limit to the number of armor, trait, and skill cards a player can acquire. A player may not equip more than two hands worth of weapon cards. Unless, of course, they are that fucking barbarian who apparently can equip four for God knows what reason. A dexterous feat. That's what he has. Very, very dexterous indeed. <laughs> Discarding allows players to buy a new weapon card without going over their weapon card limit. If a player buys a trait card, they immediately move the tracking token on their alignment card as indicated by the arrow icon. That's fine. That's what those tokens were for then, I guess. If a player buys a skill card, they may use it immediately. If the player cannot or chooses not to buy a card, they must select a card from the market and add it to the market discard pile, and then they gain two gold from supply. Just like charity, I guess. After a player has either bought or discarded a market card, they return their initiative card to the initiative card row in the center of the table. This helps players keep track of who is next in the market phase. At any time during the game, any player may look through the market discard pile. So here's an example of that. In the dice phase, the start player chooses two. 
Next player chooses one, last player chooses three. In the market phase, Isaac goes first because he chose the... <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Wait. <laughs> no, no, no. It, no. Yes? No. It. Yeah, it does make sense. Yeah. Sort of. I think we may have put them in the wrong order, but... Because I thought it was the the lowest... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the lowest number goes first. Yes, of course. Yeah, I'm an idiot. So whoever had the lowest, which is me, goes first. And yes, that's the disadvantage because I got a shittier dice as a result. Mm -hmm. So I will go first. Okay. Because there are three players, there are four market cards available. So The only question I have is... Is... So th that's you're saying the market phase is like the next phase, right? Yep, we're in it now. But what about the charisma thing? I said I would like to try that. Yeah, the problem is that doesn't. Oh, oh you just take one of these tokens right here. Oh, yeah. and then what do I do with it? Mm, just pop it on your card. Use it when you need it. I'm taking one too. What does it? What does it do though? It reduces the cost of a thing you buy from the market. Oh. You can use one instead of a gold. Okay. All right. So I'm going to lay out four market cards here. That's what I was confused. I was like, what does this have to do with what I just <laughs> yeah. said I was going to do? So right. this is going to be... Lose. So this is the market right now. I like how you're facing them all away from the chosen one. Well, from the chosen you have to flip them around. They're going to be facing somebody. I'd rather be just facing the viewers, damn it. Are the viewers the chosen one? I don't think so. The view I don't know. The viewers might be the chosen one. You're a deluded sociopath, remember? So we can't trust you. <laughs> I'm so deluded. I'm just a sociopath. Just, yeah, I'm just a sociopath. Imagine that would be a really, really bad thing. All right, so you see these Wait, various kind of roll any here. number of dice in the dice pool? What does that mean? It means you re-roll on a number of dice in the dice pool. Uh, yeah. so... But just on that card, or? Well, I think it's just for that turn that you have when you draw the four yeah. dice. So, Before you put them on the initiative cards. If you buy a skill card, you may use it immediately. I assume that you can hold on to it and use it again later. When a player buys a skill card from the market, it's immediately available for use. To use a skill card, a player moves the tracking token on the player's alignment card in the direction indicated by the arrow. Then the player uses the special ability of the card if they wish. Finally, the player exhausts the card by turning it sideways to show the card can't be used again until the card is refreshed, i.e. turned upright. If it's not possible for the player to move the tracking token due to the position, then the skill can't be used. Basically, like, if you intimidate people, you're kind of getting a bit more evil by doing that, I'm going to assume. You see that little arrow? It's pointing you in that direction. What about cure wounds? If I'm curing wounds, I'm probably getting a bit less evil. I'm going up. So all of these abilities and things that you're doing are affecting your alignment every time you do it. Okay. Skill cards may be used at any time, even during any other player's turn, unless noted in the card's description. Each player may only refresh one skill card per round and only during the cleanup phase. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to buy some shit. <laughs> and I think I get to buy as much as I want, right? Let's double check that. There was no oh, limit on the number I of cards. Oh, I see. And then on your player. background story, you were trying to get your this the color of the dice like that. Pretty oh, much, dear. yeah. Yeah. So how do the stars work? So like, under so let's this say is your on four stars. Uh so let's say it's it's all scoring related. So let's say under craftsman if you get one star, I believe it. the way it works is there's six objectives on there. They're all different colored dice. If you only get one, you only get one. Yeah. If you get between two to three of them, you get one star, which is score. If you get four to five of them, you get three. If you get all six, you get six stars. So it's all, this is vi stars of victory points, basically. Yeah. Oh, and then on the, uh, the, the ranger card, the class card... The stars that indicate if you can get that score, then you get that many points at the end. Yes. Uh, I see. I'm yep. getting it. I'm That's how that works. Do we need to have a, a, a token sitting on our um, whatever it has, our, our alignment card? Um, we do, but only I think until because it's oh, going to start budging around. We need a track token. Yeah. Soon. Does it like? I think the tracking token might just like start in the middle. Yeah, I think you can take, uh, it's whatever color you're currently playing. So if you whack your little token right in the center, I assume everyone starts as kind of neutral aligned, unless it says Welcome otherwise. Maggie. And then you move stuff around as you go. Quit being so fiddly. There you go. So I'm 
You've got three stars already. You're winning. For the time being. For the time being. When the game ends, it might go on forever. It might be ended now. But it says I need minus stars on the sides. What does that mean? You don't need minus stars. stars. Yeah, that means you'll lose stars if you end up You've there. You've got to try and keep your one in the middle. Yeah, you don't okay. You don't want your alignment to shift to any of those places. Because if it does, you're going to lose score that way. Okay, I'm so confused. All right. I'm just making sure that we can... Yeah, okay. So I believe we keep buying until there's nothing there. And I buy first. So me being, okay. me being a warrior... Let's see... After buying an armor card, you may take constitution attribute action. I mean, I'd love to do that, but I don't think they have an armor card here. Honestly. All right, if I complete all my attribute goals, I can I get think it'll four. say armor instead of, like, weapon scale. Yeah the, yeah, the ancient spear is clearly a weapon. I'm just like, oh, is that good or not? When selecting an initiative card with gold on it, gain additional gold. That's okay. I do like the idea of intimidate. I like the idea of scaring people. Of course you do. There is a slight problem with that, apparently, because it will push my... I'm an arbiter, so I might not want to do that. Increase the face... Ooh, uh, ooh cure wounds is actually pretty pretty cool. I might say that. That's a good skill. All right, I'm going to spend three gold. I'm not going to put the gold in the bag of dice. There we go, three <laughs> gold. And I'm going to learn cure wounds. Mm-hmm. So that goes there. Yep. All right. I believe the next person on the initiative now buys. And that would be you. me. Me. You. Okay. Um, I'm debating. So stars are good. Like I want more of those, right? Like that's how you win the game. Yep. So if you were looking at that like right, end goal. But, that's what I would want. Yeah, you can build for end game, but you got to make sure that you've actually nailed the objectives. However, if you take that, it's got the little arrow on the top, so you're going to move off of your three stars on your uh, alignment. Oh, you have to move? Yeah, that'll move you over to the left. It says on the top right that it goes... Oh, fuck that shit. Not doing it. Um, I think... Oh, man, maybe the additional gold. Before or after selecting... The weapon? Yeah. Can you have as many weapons as you want? Hmm. You I'm may not more. equip more than two hands worth of weapon cards. At any time, a player may discard a weapon card from the play area to the market discard pile. Discarding allows a player to buy a new weapon card without going over the weapon card limit. But there okay, are so no limit to the number of traits, skills, and armor cards you can have. Cool. This one, you have to move over to the right one, right? That's yeah. A, that's what it's that a, I think. It's, uh, when you intimidate, it's, it's, kind of, it's an evil ability. All right, cool. So you uh, have and the ancient spear. I will give you two gold. Do I put it back in the treasure chest? You put it back in the treasure chest, yeah. There's no, like, lotto? <laughs> no. There should be. So that right. leaves you with two choices, Mr. Nerd Cubed. Yes. Uh, I The loyalty is an interesting one. And if you can uh, get it. If you can play, what one's our tribute goals? The attribute goals are under your class card. No, under the attributes thing. It's yeah, there. on a class card under attributes. You see the oh. list under ranger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you see need... that. Yeah. You have to complete just... them. Oh, okay. If you complete all of them, which is tricky, but not impossible, you gain an extra four victory points on top of all of that. When do you get to chuck dice away? Um, I mean, you get to flip them. There's a couple <laughs> of abilities and cards that might let you change them. Like, I just cure wounds, for instance, lets me increase the face value of one die. Yeah, which is nice. That is super nice. I was just debating, and it's only one cost, but it does move you over is the problem. So yeah, in my case, it sure moves me back. up, which isn't really a problem. Because I'm an arbiter, it doesn't matter if I, that just makes me more good. That's fine. As long as it do, doesn't move me to the right, it's all right. It's also worth bearing in mind that like you don't actually lose a lot from attributes anyway. It's not really that important uh, from the uh, alignment anyway. It's not really that important, all things considered. So is yours like you just need to you can be on the right any you can land on any of those spots and you're good? I'd want to be on the left. Yeah, I'm in on the left. Sorry. Yes. You could be on like any of these at the ending. Oh, that's yeah. cheating. Oh, what just happened? I lift you uh -huh. my card and I lift it up. There we go. <laughs> you know, what? I'm gonna buy some loyalty. Oh, uh, okay. Got three. So I'll stick these three gold. Yeah. Whack down into traits. You're gonna be working on that for a while. Yeah. 
Yep. Uh, Chokes down the bomb. Oh, chokes down the... Oh, it's just no gap. Right. Oh. That leaves us with... I have the choice of discarding this, which I think I will. It's not really my kind of thing. I'm not going to be doing the intimidating anytime soon, so I'm thinking I'm going to put that in the market discard pile, which is here, and it's going to give me two gold for doing that. What? what? And that, that's going to clean out the market. What? You destroyed yes. the market. So there is an advantage to being last in initiative. Well, te yes, there is. Mm. But I get a shit year. So dice. if you want to fuck with the market... Can you just discard things on your turn anyway, then? What do you mean? From the, from the market, can I, can I have just thrown something away for my turn? You could have. You could have thrown something away instead of buying, sure. Ah, uh, okay. Up to you. <clears throat> just a lot of the time you don't want to. The only time you might want to do that is if you're thinking, oh, this is something that my opponent's going to go for. Let's get rid of it so they can't have it. Oh, if you want to be a cheeky bastard. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't put my trait card in the trait slot, so I'm just going to lean it on the board like that. <laughs> cool. All right. So that was basically what everything was all about. Hmm. We're now in the cleanup phase. Each player discards any unused charisma tokens. Oh, yeah, that's a point. I forgot to spend mine. I'm a fucking idiot. Well, tough shit for me. You didn't spend yours either, did you, Maggie? Uh, how do, What do we do? Your charisma token. That means everything costs one oh, less gold. You I was wondering it. how I had to use that. Yeah, you That's just you spend ask. it and, instead of a gold. It's too late now, though. It's gone. <laughs> what? I, I, for, I forgot <laughs> mine as well. So, yeah, it's gone. But we're learning. Yes. Okay. And we must learn through our mistakes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Each player may refresh one exhausted you know that, skill that was card. how it worked. Uh, I we thought do you now. it. No, you can't. It would become OP, I think. But I feel like not knowing that sucks. Yeah, it does. Because we would have definitely spent it. Sure, but I for forgot mine as well, so it's my fault. All right. Each player okay. may refresh one exhausted skill card by turning it upright. None of us have any used skills right now, so that's not really relevant. Unless uh, you can use uh, the skills at any time, can't you? I'll use mine later. Okay, available for use. The start player returns the remaining die in the dice pool to the dice bag. So that one dice right there that's still laying on the one, you can, you throw it back in the dice bag. The starting player. So that's you, Maggie. Okay. So I, I can do what? The exactly? dice. The die yeah. right here. Toss it in the dice bag. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter who tosses it in the dice bag. Oh, yes, really. the rules data. <laughs> okay. The whole game will collapse if we the don't. The player draws a new set of market cards for the next round equal to the number of initiative cards. So that will be four. That four is... market cards? Yeah, four more market cards from there. Nailed it. Can I flip them? Don't see why not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ew. Some of these are sets, by the way, as you can see. So you might want them. Ooh, there's some fancy, fancy stuff in there. All right. Cool. Uh, All right. The start player places one gold on any of the initiative cards that don't have gold on them. Which, wait, that that's such a weird sentence because isn't it two and three that have gold on them, right? Yeah, if two if they wouldn't take an item, they just yeah. Just, I think it's just it, one it or two it, and three. It just makes sure you want to say make sure that the numbers that need the gold have the gold. Yeah, I guess that's just how it is. I'll handle it. It's fine. And then apparently the dice bag is past the player on the left. That's fine. And then we do it again. Cool. Which is yeah, it's pretty much how the game works. When does the game end? The game ends at the completion of the round in which all players have filled every attribute row on their character sheets. That's mm -hmm. when we calculate all of our score and stuff to win. Okay. Cool. All right, I get it. Yep. Cool. All right, then. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so the highest value one goes at the end. Yep. Yeah. 
Cool. All right, now I get to choose which initiative I want to go through first. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to go with four. I'm going to take the four. Ooh. It's a bit dicey, isn't it? Dicey. The whole game's a bit dicey. Dicey. <laughs> Who picks next? You do. It's clockwise. Um, uh, I'm going to go for the... <laughs> the I'm going to think... I'm going to think about... I'm going to go for the one. You're going to go for the beer? The one. The beer. All right. All right. Man, it's going to be hard for me as a halfling to get 18 strength. <laughs> it's basically going to be almost impossible. Uh, Actually. But with cure wounds, I could probably do it. But I'd have to do it with red dice. So yeah, what I'm is the con bonus? What does it let you do? Okay, so constitution... Up it says up one yeah so green. placing a die in the constitute yeah try it again <laughs> constitution attribute row allows the player to de increase or decrease the face value of any die on their character sheet by one dice values don't loop thus a die with a value of six can't be increased to a one nor can a one be decreased to a six. Oh, okay <laughs> what's that a little plus two by that mean that means yes. as a rate it's a racial bonus you get Oh, this has got racial, has it? Okay. Yep. Oh, piss. That's not why I can't actually finish mine. Well, let's see. You can tweak it. Hmm. I also think there might be items who are going to give you bonuses on certain things as well. Because, well, like, it's... right now, I'm trying so to can... get... How 80... do I up a yeah. dice to, like, a... Do I just keep, keep rotating the dice until it gets to the number I want? Yeah. You can up it or... Lower it one, basically. Simple as that. How do I make it go up? Do I keep shaking it? Um, there's probably a way to do that. I'll be damned if I know what that way is. Uh, oh, yeah, right, scale up. right click and click set number. No. no, scale up will just make it bigger. Yeah, right click the <laughs> dice and click scale up. So I've done that con action. I've taken that white dice. Oh, fine. And I've taken it from five to six. Get it out. 18 is impossible with a minus two, but I'm going to assume that there are items and abilities that will push me beyond that. Yeah, like con up or something. It has yeah. to be, otherwise we would be bugging. Yeah, otherwise it would literally be impossible. <laughs> uh, so I could, I believe I'm also allowed to use a skill anytime I want. So I can use Cure Wounds to increase the face value of one die on my character sheet of the class color by one, if I wish. Currently, my class color is red. So I'm like, hey, do I want to increase this red die? I mean, it is pretty crappy. I'm considering doing that. That would take my tracking token up there. I don't really see a reason not to do that. So, sure, why not? Oh, if you pick up the dice and right-click it, it automatically goes up one face. I mean, if you just tap F, it just flips it onto the next number, I think. Yep. But I can up that to four. Nice. Right. Okay. And then... Is it shopping time now? I believe it is. As long as everyone has done their Number things. One. Everyone's used their abilities, etc. I'm going to flip that on its side to make sure everyone knows it's used. All right, initiative-wise, it goes in the order. So it is Dan, followed by Maggie, followed by me. Uh, yes. Sorry, I saw that two in front of you. I was like, oh, can I just buy it? Is it just one thing at a time that I can buy? Yes. Okie dokie. Right, I'm going to spend this thing I got because I put a thing on Charisma. Yeah. One. And then three more. There we go. And I got me a crossbow. All right. And there's no Crandall to take it from me. Nope. <laughs> Make it into town. Da -da -da -da. Um, I think I'm going to go to Leather Boots. Makes sense, so considering your class. So I'll take those. Okay. I think I'm simply going to take the longsword. 
We were talking about stat ups earlier. Well, that's exactly what the long sword does. When scoring mm -hmm. attribute goals, plus one value to all dice of your class's color. So what I'll be wanting to try and then do is if I'm having problems with strength, get red dice using the swap into my strength column. Yep. Now, I believe the remaining card, I think, is discarded. I, I think. I get two. I... Oh, I'm double that. checking the rules. Let the me know, the problem is we have a bunch of rules warriors in the chat that don't necessarily own the game, meaning they <laughs> have no idea what they're talking about. So we do check the rules prior to checking what they have to say, just in case. <laughs> so. Yeah, don't listen to chat. You'll fuck up like I did. Because people are like, oh, you should use Dex because you're a thief. And I'm like, I actually should have put it in Int because Int's going to give me more stars. But, you know, don't listen to them. Okay. Yep, so you buy. There's no limits, blah, blah, blah. You may not equip more than two hands with the weapons. We get that. The player buys trait card. You can immediately move their tracking token on the alignment card. If a player buys a skill card, they may use it immediately. If the current player cannot or chooses not to buy a card, they must select a card from the market, add it to the market discard pile. After a player has bought or discarded a market, they return the initiative card to the initiative card row. This helps track of who is next. Yeah, I. it doesn't seem to necessarily say that you can't buy the last one, but I'm going to assume that makes sense. Because the example they give, each of the three players only buys one. So mm -hmm. I believe the Mystic Cloak goes to the discard pile. And do I then get two coins for it? Because you did last no. time. No, uh, but you I'll get two I'll, coins last time. Yeah, because I did it wrong, and I'll give those two coins back. Look, I'll give those two, two coins back. See, no problem. Wait, wait, why did you get? Why did you think you got two coins? Because the assumption was that the final item gets bought, uh, which actually it doesn't. It just gets discarded. So, all right, this final okay. dice goes back in. <laughs> we'll put our initiative cards back. All right, dice bag is handed over to Dan. Uh -oh. Question Dude. for me now. What is this stopwatch timer thing? I have no idea like, what that's for. I, I assume it's, okay. for, it's probably for adding up numbers at the end. Yeah. Okay. So I take All four right. out, yeah? Yeah. I don't what believe the unbought card stays around for the next one because the cleanup says remove everything. <laughs> we also have to draw a new set of four market cards. Oh, well. I tried to roll them properly and it didn't roll very well, but it rolled. It changed, so... Be... There's no red dice in there. Wow. Turn for everyone. Yeah, that's rubbish. Draw better, please. Thank you. Yeah, geez. Uh, you suck, like basically. Coin goes onto there. Just ruin everyone's There's save. Like oh, those leather gloves. They're mine. Really? I don't know. <laughs> Don't I, I think... get to pick first? Oh no, it depends on It depends the initiative. on initiative, but if you yeah. really want them, you might want to go first to make sure none of us takes them. Don't put your hand on top of it, TV. What the heck? Oh no, that's not TV, that's nerd. Indeed. Oh, I'm reading, I'm reading. I guess I can just hit alt. That's how I'm reading. I like how you can get a weakness trait. It's like you've just given up entirely on strength and you get a bonus as a result. Sounds good to me. <laughs> might not be a bad idea for you. Might be a decent pickup. No, it takes me over to the right, so it evens out. I like the idea of the heavy crossbow basically just being you intimidating the market. Yep. <laughs> the stall dude with it to pay less. That seems like it makes sense. All right. Well, the initiative choice Ooh. begins with Dan. So where are you going with that? Ooh. All right. Let's see how much I want these things versus how much I want things. I, I don't know. Again. Well, that's going to make me things by hand. Play. Bear in mind our gold stock is rapidly depleting. Yep. So that's one of the sort of important choices. Like, oh, do I take a gold dice to gain some more gold? Do I scrap a card? What do I get the colors that I'm looking for? It's tricky. Uh, I'm going to go... Yeah, two. Ooh. Maggie, your choice. <gasps> I want to go first. But... You do, but do you Wait, really so... want that one? No, I don't want that one. That's the thing. I, I can't afford to have the one. 
It would take a lot of work to flip that one or something good. Yeah, like a lot, unfortunately. Which is shame you didn't grab part. Intimidate. You could have forced a reroll on this, but never mind. Yeah. Is he going to take the three? All right. Well, I mean, in that case, I'm just going to... I'll take the four then if you're going to go that way. All right. And I get... Let's see. Well, if I were to put it in Charisma, it's not really worth much. No, where do I want to put this? Con's worth more. I can get Con to where I need it. Oh, my Con has to specifically be 17, which actually it would be if I did that. Cool. Nice. So I got my Con to 17. That's lovely. 18. So I need a six here. Doesn't, doesn't your longsword add a plus one value to all dice? Or does that stay at the six? It adds plus one value to all dice of your class color, which means that I'm going to have to probably move that six Five. somewhere at some point. Otherwise, it will actually screw it up. Alternatively, I just lower uh, the gold or the green dice by one, and then that isn't a problem, which I can actually do right now. Yeah, that's your ability. What's yeah. the, is it just a reroll? So I just get to reroll something. Uh, probably. I, I don't know. There's supposed to be a player help card that tells you all these things, but as it stands, we just have to rely on the manual. They evidently didn't include it. With Int, placing a die in the intelligence attribute row allows the player to choose any die on their character sheet and re-roll it. Okay, so I you definitely can literally want to re-roll it. You can either keep so, the new value or you can maintain the original I'm gonna value. I'm going to re-roll it. Oh, that's nice. So you, you put one on Int. All right, go yeah. for it. That's so did I. Damn. I'm gonna have a reroll. Uh, it's gonna higher my... than a one, oh, but it's just. Sorry about you. Oh, <laughs> a... Yeah, I'm gonna use my constitution <laughs> ability to. Why does it keep doing this? There just we tap go. Tap F. Just put your thing ever in. Tap F. Yeah. Goes up one. I'm gonna move this to four instead, knowing okay, that. That plus longsword with a red in there will take me up to the 17 exactly that I need. So initiative-wise, uh, nerd is going to go, then I'm going to go, then you're going to go. Pretty yeah. much. Although, okay. TV, you may want to check if that plus one to all dice means that it caps at six or if it goes up to seven. Um, I believe it... Uh, actually, I have no idea. Yeah. It just said, it, it, it says plus one value to all dice, so I'm going to assume it doesn't cap. I'm not entirely sure based on how this game works. Get it checked. I'll stop buying stuff. <laughs> I'm going to assume it does not cap. All right. Um, oh, Jesus. Okay. Can you only have one armor and one weapon? or? You can have as many armor cards as you want. You can only okay. have weapons up to the number of hands you've got. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put this over here so it's out of my way. I'm going to cure wounds again. I'm going to buy weakness and hilariously... <laughs> I'm going to buy weakness. I'm going, to, <laughs> I'm going to intimidate my way to do that, so I'm going to buy it for just one gold. Da -da -da -da. Because I'm not going to get... I'm going to uh, use Cure Wounds to increase this to five. Okay. Well, F doesn't case. work for me. I don't know why. It doesn't do a damn thing. Really? Yeah, but it's fine. I could set it to that, so I'm going to boost my red die up to five using that so you've bought that all right so it's maggie's yes and i think you know what i'm gonna buy oh yeah i i keep forgetting you can't if you can't move your alignment marker any further you can't use the skill so i can't actually do that so i need to do something evil to balance things up again oh no go away <laughs> Oh, so you can't actually, if you can't move it, you can't do the thing. Yes, if you can't move it, you can't do the thing. Oh! Because skills okay. would be very powerful otherwise, yeah. So you've got to maybe get a couple of skills that contradict each other and then bounce between them. My traits are just a permanent one off fire when they get activated, mm. I would assume. All right, so there's what? Slider hand. Move one die on your character sheet to an empty space. Slide dice to the left to fill any um, open spaces. Cunning, gain. Pl gain a victory point for each skill card you have which conveniently moves i don't have any skill cards so i was like i don't know how useful probably don't want that me. yeah i do have <laughs> one i need a lot of them for it to really be useful does anyone have skill cards i've got one i don't think oh you have one oh, okay yeah i could have two oh, if you i have pick a... slide a hand up 
Hmm. Question is, do I want it? I'm looking at move one die on your character sheet to an empty space. Slide die to the left to fill any open spaces. I can see that being useful. But you also I'll, have to move to the right. Yeah, and it'll put me right in the place that I don't want to be. Yep. But, I mean, then you'll just want to try to find a card that does the opposite, right? Yeah, the question is, one. can I find one? Um, yeah. I'm actually going to <laughs> discard then and get two gold instead of buying something. Because I'm a oh. bit short on gold, and I don't think any of those are really that useful for me. So. Okay. Oh, God damn it! My two traits kind of backed each other, I just realized. What, uh, uh, weak and loyal? Yeah, all of uh, your tributes. Yes. Someone that says, I've got yes, your tributes up. You have managed to do that. Congratulations. <laughs> I would... I mean, to be fair, it's a backup, right? If you don't yeah. achieve loyal, which you probably won't, nope. then... <laughs> I'm either loyal or I'm weak. Yeah. I'm sorry, this is just really funny. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> all right, that's all discarded. So if we put the initiative stuff back, I'll set up a new market. Yep. Bag of dice. Yep. Stack it, it you now. Bag it's of dice. Now. Initiative. Put it's gold TB's on three and four. Turn. Sure. It's your turn, isn't it? No, uh, it's TB's turn. It's your turn. Right? I don't think it matters either way, does it? Probably yes. not. No. Oh. <laughs> Look at that stuff like, ooh. I see. I see some nice so stuff. So I need to shake these. Yeah, if you hold down R, it holds them up higher. Oh, and put, them put the bananas. What are you doing? Yeah, if you hold down R while you've got them selected, it raises them Get up. Get this bag away from me. Don't blame the bag. I'm blaming the bag. It was too close. It sucked them up. That was not a roll. <laughs> that was a roll. <laughs> Hold down R. You raise Put some the effort in. Up. There you go. There you go. Oh. There you go. Now you can give it a shake. Still, <laughs> come on. You just dropped it. Come on. Roll it. Roll it like you mean it. Here we go. That's slightly better. Slightly better. All right. Place them in order. <laughs> Oh, oh my <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. Alright. Initiative. So I believe you choose first. Okay. I choose first. Shit. Um. Blargle Snarkle. I'm trying to think of like what I can, what I need. What do I need in life? What is best in life? These are the questions we ask. To hear the lamentations of their women. To drive them before, see them driven. What, yeah, so what is wisdom's enemies, benefit? Yes. What do you get for that? So the wisdom ability. Placing a die in the wisdom attribute row allows the player to move the tracking token on their alignment card one space up, down, left, or right. Oh. Ah, okay. Yeah. So. And then if, strength is... Placing a die in the strength allows you to change the face value of any die on the character sheet to the face value of the opposite side of the die. So you can turn a 1 into a 6, a 2 into a 5, etc. Okay. I would like... Oh, shit. Okay. I think I'm going to go with... Two... Uh, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna go three. Eight. Cool. I'm gonna place that one on strength, and I'm gonna use that flip ability to flip the one into a six. Yoink. All right, what are you doing with your dice? Boom. Man's hitting my dexterity. What does a little gold outline at the end mean? What gold outline? I think it, it just means you you, you, oh, you get you get paid a gold if you contribute if you uh, complete an attribute line. Ah, sweet. I'll take my Which gold. Which I have with. actually done two of and forgot to take my gold for. There we go. <laughs> All right. Where's the dice gone? What's everyone done with them? Um, I went on dexterity, so I get to swap two dice. You do. And you exchange the placement of any two dice strength, from character And I made my wisdom one into a six. Okay. Oh, I get to swap two dice. Yep. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. 
Okay. Yeah, and yeah, some places. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, all right, I'm feeling it. All right, we all done? Yep. All right. Well, I get to go first. I'm going to buy the chain leggings, surprising nobody ever. It's going to cost me three gold. All right. You one. Maggie's turn. Yep. Um. Hold on a second. I'll entertain them. I'll spin something. I'll roll a dice. You got some car keys you can wave in front of them. Yeah, da, 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 da. I don't have a car. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take this. Or shit. Foolish. I. Uh... That seems quite foolish. <laughs> I'm gonna take this and I'm going to discard it and get okay. two gold. Get rid of it Ooh. and get two gold. How do? Where do I put it? Just uh, up for that at the top. Right up here. Yep. Okay. Take two gold for that. And Mister Nerd Cubed. I'm gonna get me a skill. Yep. It's also worth yeah. noting, incidentally, when I buy armor as part of my special ability, I get to use my constitu constitution attribute action. Ooh, so I get you. to up or down a face value. I'm just about gold, me. I'm gonna spend one gold and get myself pickpocket as a skill. I'm doing the math in my head as like, what's the correct thing to do here? I have to move the discard pile over there a little bit. So give me some room. With this minus two strength, there's no way in a million years I don't want to increase this to a five. Wait, you can put a dice. Oh, okay. You just pick that. Okay. Yep. Because you have to go left to right with the dice. You can't just put something on the right side, right? Yeah, it's going back where it was. All I'm doing is using the con ability to flip it up a side. Hmm. I really wanted to be foolish. Uh, What's on the opposite side of a of a five? Is it two? Two. Okay, two. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. All right. Three's going in. And now. Acrobatics like gets thrown in the bin. Biscuits get thrown away. We can do a flip first. It's acrobatics. All right. Dice Where's gone. the marketplace deck? Marketplace, his deck is right there. Okay. Take so... four, flip mower. Dun dun. Whose turn is it now? Yours. I think it's yours. Mine. TV. Mine. Yes. Oh, dun, dun. Mine. Dun dun. All right. Dun dun. <laughs> All right, what we got? A lot of twos, not much else, by the looks of it. Ugh. All right, now I get to choose first, if I'm correct. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take the three. How many weapons can you have? As many oh, as you want. Uh, did you take the gold nope. off of the three? Uh, yeah, I forgot to do that. I've got it. No, nope, you can second. have as many weapon cards as you have hands. Sweet. So <laughs> these are one-handers. You could have both of them. In it for the gold. Reckless seems terrible. Yeah, Gain it seems like you have to be like getting all off. ones. You need to be deliberately losing. To be fair, that's yeah. not necessarily that's a, a bad that's strategy. That's a strategy, though. It seems like there's a lot of cards that like you could go with that. That's like where I'm going. With you it. Maybe where that work. Yeah, I'm gonna try. And then for all your all your flips and stuff, you'd want to get like ones and shit. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Mmm. Some nice stuff in there. Okay, question is where am I gonna put this for? 
I need a black dice. Oh, you took three and you took two. Charisma, Shit. it's like four, that's what, seven, so eight, like nine, ten, eleven. I'd still be way off what I need four, to be two. there. Oh, but I get two, uh, the two bonus, so yeah. And I'll put it in there, which is going to complete this attribute row here. That gives it's me additional like, um... gold. And I can do a flip later to get it to where I need to be. That also means I can take a charisma token to get a bit of a bargain later. Or do I want the two? I have a cunning plan. Really? Is it as cunning as a fox? No, way more. If I get cold and everything, this is way more cunning. Way more cunning. Yeah. Well, see just how cunning you really are. This is, the, this is the cunningest thing that's ever been done. <laughs> no idea. Looks like I can make that a five later. Oop. Okay. Alright, everyone place their things, everyone done their stuff. Um, yep, yep, yep. one second. I get one of these things. I also and... get two gold for having the gold die. And then it's my turn to pull first, because I had one initiative. Indeed. Um... Pick what you want. I believe we're almost down to the second row of cards, which are generally more powerful. Ooh. And probably pricier. I still really don't like Reckless. It's like, how do you deliberately I'm screw up like that? I'm going to buy this, and I'm going to actually spend this on it, so it only cost me one gold. Bargain, mate. Bargain. Alright. I'm going to use a skill. I'm going to use Pickpocket. Decrease the face value of one die on your character sheet by one to gain two gold. Alright. Which puts you down into a bonus place. Does yeah. he get to keep that? Yeah, it that just goes, goes on cooldown till next round. That then goes to one. Also, I gain one gold after using a skill card, so I gain three gold from doing that. One, two, okay. And then I'm going to spend a whopping five gold to be a bit reckless. Hooray! Why would you? Mm. Okay. And that's me. That way. One. That's. I just got, there you go, I've got in the thing. Boom! Feeling it. I'm going to try All and right. make the worst player in this game and win. I'm going to spend three and get the jewel dagger. There we go. Alright. We're done on this turn. We discard claim. Basically, if we run out of cards, the new deck will be made out of the discard of stuff. Did so. anybody discard? No. No, I everyone so. bought something. Mm -hmm. Oh look, obnoxious mm -hmm. is a trait. Ooh. We're now in <laughs> I could be reckless, weak, and obnoxious. <laughs> Why are we playing Trump? <laughs> 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 I think you could, um, if you actually pull this off and then nuke all the scores on your dice, that's a possible winning combination. <laughs> if you manage to weak by being the worst <laughs> character, I will be very surprised. But as a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is how Trump won, actually. <laughs> oh, cock. Yeah, all right. Oh, man. Okay. Has the dice been rolled and stuff? Okay. Who, whose turn is it to do that? I think, it's I think it is nerd. Ah, throw me that bag. There you go. Mr. Dan. Gold, gold. All right. Who ah! are some high values? <laughs> Ooh, it's quite a high score around. Oh my gosh, yay. <laughs> Celebrate. Um, that one and also two gold in the plate. Mm -hmm. All right, and then you get a bag of dice for next round. Uh, so, do I go? Do I pick first? Yes. Sweet. I'm going next. Sweet. Okay then. 
as it will be. I'm going to grab this. Uh, so dex means I can swap a dice, right? From any spots. Yeah, yeah you swap yes. two dice between spots. Yep. That's exactly what you do. Hmm. All right. I'm going to swap. These so when two. I score attribute goals, I get plus one value to all gold dice. Let's have quite a lot of those. Because int is going to be worth more points. That gets charisma to where I need it to be, I think. Has anyone just been ignoring their backstory dime. dice? Is way what? For the most part. Has anyone just been ignoring their backstory dice for the most part? No, no. Keeping up with it. No, I am keeping up with it, bro. I... Right. Like, I'm going to go even... two of them, and I don't think I'm going to get any better than that. One, two. I have three. Or a bugged one up there. I, I have two. Three. I'm going to swap these at some point, and I'll have three. I get to flip a dice over, don't I? Like, because I put one on strength. Yeah, I'm just figuring out. Oh where shit, to that's put what I wanted this. to do. Sorry. My deck is between 16 and 17, so that. That's what I was doing. My strategy. Just put that there. It won't let me move it. So that takes okay. me up to 11. So I need like either a five or a six on there. Swipping it. With decks, I can do that swaparoo. And like, is there anything that I can swap that would be useful? Mm, not that I can God, swap. these are all pretty eh, for me. Uh... Hmm, I don't think I'm gonna swap. But I can't think of anything on there that would actually be useful for me to swap with. Actually, my con okay. needs to be 17. But yeah, I get the boost from the longsword, so my con actually is 17. Wait, no, it's not. Yes, yes, it is. It's 16 plus one on longsword, it's 17. That's correct. And I take two gold, so I got a gold dice. All right, ready to go. We're ready to buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's nerd and then me and then you. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna discard a card for my turn and get the gold. I'm gonna discard greedy. Fuck. <laughs> I wanted greedy. I'm sorry. You killed my. Um, oh, because card. you just discarded a card, I get gold. You get gold. Yeah. Uh, I have this blessed mace, so when any player discards a car from the market, gain one gold. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. I'm not keen on all those leather boots and stuff she's been allowed to have. She hmm. likes leather. <laughs> all right, it's my turn. And none of these are good for me. I was looking at obnoxious, and I'm thinking, nah. I mean, if I can get another blue dice and maybe swap around charisma, that might be good, but otherwise, no. Clumsy's kind of rubbish. You can't even use Mystic Cloud. I'm, I mean, I could. It Cloud. would just you... be a waste of space. No, it's green or blue. You're not no, either of those. No, you so get a red. bonus for green or blue. You still wear it. It's just, it's shit. So there's no reason why I would. <laughs> but it says green or blue classes, so you wouldn't no, get anything for no, it. No, it says plus one for set if worn by green or blue classes. So you would. You just only get the stars at the top, not the extra. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. So, are you buying or discarding? Well, if I get, if I still can get something from this, maybe I'll buy it. The other stuff gives me nothing. Um. It's four, though. Jesus. Yeah, it's like, do you really want, I mean, you have a pile of money, but do you really want to how spend... Much, how much armor can you wear? As much as you want. Oh, okay. Well, I'll get it. I do have a pile of money, you're right. Feel free. <laughs> I think I'm probably just going to go on the straight-up discard. I'm looking at these, I'm like, uh, I'm not going to ever be clumsy. Because that <laughs> would literally clumsy. be the, o yep. the obvious I want opposite my of what I should to be. Work. <laughs> if I get clumsy, I can't, it just push me off the edge. Is, ah, if I pick up Noxious, 
that'll actually take my alignment back down so I could use cure wounds again. Yep. And it's not like I, you know, I, I couldn't potentially get obnoxious on something. I'll buy obnoxious. What, you know, what? I'm obnoxious. Everybody knows this. <laughs> I'm role playing here. I'm role playing. I'm role playing here. There we go. I am now obnoxious, which moves my tracking token for my alignment back down to neutral, which means that I can use cure wounds again. Ooh. Bort doesn't like this. Let's see. <laughs> I'm looking at my charisma. I'm like, is that where it's supposed to be? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the bonus on the twelve, and then the plus two to the fourteen. Yep, yeah, I should not be screwing with that. That's, <laughs> that's done. That's where it is. This is mental arithmetic, the game, basically. All right, everybody done? Yep. Sounds like it. Let's get rid of that. Four new cards. One, two, three, and four. The dice is in Maggie's hands now, I believe, so. Yes. Here's what we got. The tower shield. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Nimble, mystic robes, and obsessed. Oh, shit. That doesn't seem right. Should I re-roll that? I feel like. I mean, you rolled it properly, right? Yeah. Then it it's just right. Seemed... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I don't see any problem with that. Is there a problem with that? Yeah, it's no ones. I like ones. Make you them You like ones. I like ones. If he's going for the failure build, then yeah. But that means you can use, uh, what, uh, what is it? Int to flip them over? Yes, I can if I hadn't. I oh, know it's dex. No, strength flips them over. Hmm. Uh, int. What does int do? So int. Again. Int to roll. Yeah, oh, int's, int's just a full reroll. Can I reroll anyone, or does it have to be any, just the one? Any one. You can roll one. Reroll one die. You can either keep the result, or you can go back to what it was. All right. I think I'm going to do. Six. Mm. All right. Which one are you picking? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I think I'm picking this. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm picking two. I'll be gold off that. Thank you very much. And I'm going to reroll this one. Take that Got black off. die and put it under int. Nice, nice. Where did I go? It's a whiz. Hmm. Do I want to use it for a reroll? Maybe. Maybe. Well, I've got my con and my dex and my strength pretty much handled. <laughs> Mine's a mess. An absolute mess. Isn't that the point, though? The setup <laughs> you've got, your stats are supposed to be a mess, right? <sighs> A bit too much of a mess. Just a little bit of a mess. <laughs> so my con is, I think, where it needs to be. It might actually be too high. Yeah, it is, because both my gold and my red get fucking way too high. Because they're both seven each. That takes my con to 18, which is actually too high for the bonus. That's fine. I'm going to use that int ability then. I'm going to... Reroll that gold dice. Whoa. Lovely jubbly, exactly what it needed to be. There we go. Got to spend that, should have remembered. All right, is everyone done? Uh, yes. Yes. Honor's fixed. Okay. Initiative. I go first. I'm going to buy the tower shield. I'll spend all my gold on that. That would be mine. Thank you very much. It's high value. Counts as an additional armor card for one incomplete set when scoring armor cards, of which I am sitting on one at the moment. In the meantime, I will also activate my warrior ability and take a constitution attribute action where I can okay. tweak one of my numbers a bit. But in the meantime, you guys keep buying. I can do that on my Wait, own accord. How how many things can you do? To buy an arbor. You may take a constitution attribute action. Yep. 
So in other words, so you I can, can only add a, you can increase one die. Or minus one, yes. Or minus one. Okay. But only one. Okay, so I think my con's fine right now. My strength, I think, is fine. Properly balanced. Like what did you buy? What I buy? The tower shield. The tower shield. Now it is your turn. It has an additional armor card. Oh, tower shield inexplicably counts as a weapon. <laughs> why does why does a shield count as a weapon? Uh, it does. I thought it counted as armor. Okay, uh, if I buy and I have to discard, if I recall yep. correctly, if I overdo it on weapons. That's fine. I can do okay. that. It's going to mess with all my fucking mathematics now, isn't it? I just wanted to look at see what you got. Yeah. Um, at any time, a player may discard a weapon card for the player out of the market discard pile. Discarding allows the player to buy a new weapon card without going over the weapon card limit. Okay, so I just get rid of But one. you don't get anything from I don't discarding. get anything from it, no. Uh, um, so... When any player discards a card from the market, does that still count? Do I still get one gold? No, it's so not from the market. If you're just... Okay. So you cool. don't get anything. So yeah, I'll just right, get rid of the jewel see. dagger then. Ooh. I assumed that a shield would be part of armor. I assumed incorrectly. <laughs> well, you have to hold it, don't you? I guess you do. So Nimble just gives you a star? Yep. Why not give you up. a star? It, yeah, it bumps your alignment and gives you a star right out of the... Yeah. That's all it does. For every two dice in your... It's like every two dice. How do you or... use two weapons and shield? Carefully is the answer, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the Mystic Row. Yep. Which makes sense because I already have the other piece. Just fine, because I can fix my con anyway. My con needs to be what, 17? If I just cure wounds, I can get that pretty much where it needs to be. I'm having a lovely time just being here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna do cure wounds. I have a full set of armor, pretty much. Like, yeah, I'm going to take that to I'm, six. I'm good, man. I'm, gonna... I'm, ready for an, I'm ready for an adventure. <laughs> oh, you don't get to do that. It's only the character building. That's literally Aww. it. The I want to go on an adventure. Yeah, this is not a game about adventures. This is a game about Stop fucking it. with your stats. Nerd it's keeps a good simulation of the first area. three hours what? of any pen and paper game. All right. I'm going to throw it away and get gold. It's, I'm not doing anything. I'm You're discarding? Busy. Yeah, you get your okay. gold. I'm getting my gold then. Give me that gold. My gold. So we should all only have four dice left. So there's four more rounds until we start scoring up. Yes. Oh, snap. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> all right. Sweet. That's that round done. Long there. sword and a tower shield. That seems right. And chain leggings. Yeah, you've got like... I'm a very warrior like, kind of You guy. just need a shirt or something. Some I, need, I need like the rest of the chain set to come out is what I need. <laughs> it's got to be in there somewhere. I'm oh. nude right oh, now. Look, but... more leather. There's your chain leather. tunic. And there's your Holy leather shit. greaves. Yeah, there's my leather greaves. Pro tip, don't give them to her. No! Pro tip! I don't give anyone anything. Oh, it's who do I want to screw over the most if I decide to go first? <laughs> no. I guess it's gonna depend on the rolls. Let's find out. Bag of dice. Dice coming out. Next week on Corruption Lounge, because I'm gonna flip the table. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Next week on Corruption Lounge, Maggie is mysteriously not invited. There we go. Uh, Maggie uh, goes uh, full Crendor, uh, uh, decide uh, to. That's a lot of lows. Yay! Yeah, exactly. I, you know you what's did the opposite of what I did. You know what's, what, what's bothering me is that this might actually work. That Dan may very well have made this work somehow. Oh my god. Okay. Which would be absolutely infuriating. Oops, sorry, I just bugged that up. The main problem is I'm looking at it now, I'm like, haha, I'll get the chain tunic. I'm like, oh, I won't have the money for that. Now Q and E let you alternate between numbers going back or forth when you highlight your dice. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm like, you run out of money real fast in this game if you're not careful. Mm. Alright. The struggle is real. Hmm. Which one to go for? It's not like I can afford that anyway right now. It's like either that or I just screw Maggie over. Hmm. Hey. That that's works not too. Nice. Hmm. Why would no? Because it's a competitive game. 
No. It was a competitive game and you got more stuff than me. Shh, don't look at my stuff. I can see your stuff because it's very no, clearly publicly available. Stop. I can see that I don't want you having those leather greaves whatsoever. Shh, and that no. will give me money as well. So well, I then you're not fucking getting your chain tuned, bitch. It's okay because I can't afford it anyway. <laughs> Wait, you can't afford it? I it's got only no three. Money. Oh my god, why don't you have any money? Because I spent it all. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> she still hasn't been shot. Shh. Excuse me. I don't know. I mean, no. it's like metaphorically she's about to be. <laughs> I think this is the form of being sh like being shot is fucking over my armor. No. Oh, the dreams of that set are slowly evaporating no. in front of your eyes. It's okay. I have a backup set. God damn it. <laughs> she is actually also wearing a robe and wizard's hat. I do point that out. Yes. <laughs> Two armor sets. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> My int has to be 14 plus. I'm looking at obnoxious. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way I can get the right colors in the right place for Obnoxious? That. Yeah. What do you need? Gain? Oh, because you have to have all of them in a row, right? Yeah, pretty much. But I thought not... about getting it because I have. I could have done that initially. Yeah, it would have like, taken uh... too much work. Like, bearing in mind, there's yeah, only like, a lot of actions you could take. I'm not 100% It'd be really good if you that. didn't care about the stats. Like, if you went with, like, the crazy you just like went with like low stats and all you did was focus on color arrangement yeah uh so i'm going to use int to do a re-roll on this dice <laughs> <laughs> yep sure of course why not game all right i get the one goal for the completion of that attribute roll uh, <laughs> anyone else got anything yeah. else they can do um Bef i have to pick my I dice destroy those leather greaves. how do you have so much money I ain't been spending, mate. I've been discarding, haven't I? That's true. You yeah. barely have any stuff. Because you are literally going um, for the I'm I guess a bad I'm adventurer. This one's like I'm gold, because yeah, I'm playing that seems stupid. Um, yeah, I got a. Uh, what did I put on? Wiz. Oh, I put on wisdom. Oh, oh, and I get to move my thingy over. Your thingy? Yeah. His magical on, so... stave. Thingy. A magical stave. Everyone's uh, heard of the magical nerd stave. Oh right. my gosh. Plan for weakness. Uh, yeah, right, you're about done. Yeah, Everyone well, ready? Well. Okay, cool. Um, it would be a shame if these leather greaves were sold for two gold, which is why it's happening. Oh, there we go. that is a shame. That is a shame. That is a terrible, terrible thing. But he does get one gold from it. Uh, yeah, she does. She does. So she still gets a benefit, but she doesn't get that damn set bonus, which is good. Shh. <laughs> I'm gonna go. You will pay for this. We will see. Actually, spend... no, I won't because you got you both have lower initiative than me, you jerks. Spending three, and I'm getting me some compassionate. What does that do? You gain two if you have uh, your character seat has dice of all seven possible colors. However, I don't have that yet, but it does One, bump two. this up, <laughs> and then I can use my skill straight away to bump this back down. Increase the face value of one die on your character sheet by one to gain two gold. Also, skill gives me another gold, so I'm going to get three gold and reduce something by one. This would explain it. I think your heavy crossbow has been sitting there just earning you money this whole game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think I can get away with this being a three here. Cool. All right, you buying or you selling? Probably. What you buying? It's my turn, stranger. right? It is, yeah. Yep. Oh, boy. Um, You know what? What's proud, actually? It's just two victory points, straight up. And it moves what? your alignment down one. Oh, fuck that. You know what? I'm just going to steal your tunic. Fuck you. That's just on principle. That's not going to help you. <laughs> Gets a star. Uh, I still get a fucking star, dude. Okay, fine. You want to do that? That's up to you. You want to spend three coins on a star? I'll you do put that. It, I'll put it on over it my fit. cloak, over It'll my robe. Chafe. It'll chafe Over my wizard sorry. robe, It'll just really to cool. show it off. You can't put that in the wash. You've got to dry clean. It'll cost you money in the long run. And that's your problem now. <laughs> uh, did anyone discard anything? You did, so I get a gold for that. Is it restore? That's okay. That's it. All right. Oh, Boom. look at those leather greaves that you don't have. Right. Okay. <laughs> there there those. Oh, lots of chain. Mm. Good, good. Oh, good. Do good. Whee! Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That ain't good. Oh, that, that's yeah, good. Yeah. Things got a wee <laughs> bit interesting, didn't they? <laughs> oh, we're all gonna go for some big numbers today. I'm sure a career as a future thief is gonna be really good. Sneaked around a chain tunic. <laughs> it's just like clink, clink, clink. Right? Yes, the stealth. Pay no attention. It's <laughs> all fives and six. All right. Hmm. Yeah, doesn't see me very well. All right, who's choosing? Uh, I get to choose first. Yep, you choose your initiative first. I mean, I'm not going to make the thing, so I'm going to just go first. I feel like I haven't gotten to choose first in a while. Stick that on there, and I get to decrease. Maggie's choice. Yeah. Uh, I'm debating what I need, so give me give me time for some maths. And a gold. So we have two fives and a six. Ooh. I need a purple though. Mm. Um, all right. I think what I'll do is I'll take this. Oh, this. Oh, what just happened? It just moved. What? It was a. It was a five. Five. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, I've got an idea. If I'm pulling this off correctly. Oh, oh, me and Maggie go first. We could destroy the two things that you hold so dear. I mean, you can if you like. Feel free to spend a bunch of money on fucking around. Oh, no, we don't have to spend money. We can discard it. You can if you want. Yeah. Feel free to do money that. from fucking around. Uh, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just want a big pile of money. Okay. Great. I mean, I'm not really collecting that set. I only have one piece of it, so it's not exactly like I'm big in on this. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go steadfast. Uh, which attribute allows you for swapping? Dex allows you to swap a dice. Uh, strength allows you to flip a dice over. Four money. That's three. I don't want one more in a second. That raises my little thingy bobby up, and then I can use pickpocket to pop it back down again. All right, I've got a fucking die. plan and a half here. And All right, so I'm putting there. this on Dex. I'm going to use the Dex ability to swap the red and the blue, which matches up two more on my backstory, and completes Ooh. Dex for an extra gold. And I'm just looking at the numbers like I need 16 to 17 on my deck. So I've got 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 Wait, on you my get deck. 4 for strength? I mean, I'm a warrior. That's, That's my primary crazy. attribute. Still, I'm yeah, quite... but you'd think I'm a thief. Like, my decks would give me a bonus, and it doesn't. So, what the fudge? It's int. Int and charisma. Well, you could play the. If you picked the rogue, you would have had more on decks. I give him a swap. That puts those in the right positions. Yes. Lots of ways to score in this game. Wait, what happened to this? What to what? I tried to figure out what happened to this dice that I got and I somehow didn't put on the board. Huh? How did that happen? What have you, what have you done? I don't know! There's no way you that's, have that. You should have two not, separate. Yeah, I have yeah. two spare, as does everybody yeah. else. Yeah. That means I have I probably accidentally cloned it or something. Hey, hang on, isn't it Maggie's turn as well? Yeah, it's my turn. So you decided to take something? I bought Steadfast. Steadfast, and what was that? That was the gain two. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, I, I was I was debating order. getting that because that's like immediately to. Oh yeah, two it's, it was the same dice. Yeah, it's fine. So I just put um, on that. They're literally identical. I feel like at this point I have to take one of the chains. So you say what do we, you what have do we need? Two chains Bracers or I think the two chains. Anyone? No. Okay. <laughs> you don't need two chains. <laughs> well, actually two chains in which case you can have you can only buy one thing at a time so i'll take this it'll it'll go over my cloak my hood my cowl 
Found it was a six, not so, a five. Three. All right. That's fine. Right? I've done Hold the swap on. around so I can just change that to a five. So then. this gives me two. Easy to lose track of this shit, apparently. Yeah, they give you the same bonus, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. In that case, uh, that leaves me then. I'll spend three on the chain of embraces. Yeah, he didn't he didn't screw you over, so. No. I'm mean, lovely. I mean, I could have easily just thrown out knowledge and used that as well, so. Well, now you have, now he gets two, plus he gets plus one for each. Is yep. that how that works? Yep. So he actually gets four. No, so. it's plus one for, for set. So it looks oh, like I get one. three. So you get three. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we have two rounds left before we score up. Da -da -da -da. I tried to add some drama there. Did you, did you like it? I mean, I, I, oh, I thought it was really lovely. Oh, <laughs> I was going for lovely. Yep. And by the way, uh, one of those rounds is going to be those two cards plus these others mixed in. So Ooh. who knows what's going to be in um. there? Maybe my chain that you keep throwing away. Oh, dear. It's leather pauldrons. <laughs> what are we going in there? <laughs> Ooh, honorable. Honorable? Oh, I'm having that. Trade so... up three victory points, spend if you got the money for it. Uh... Shit. Who has the third car? It's lying down here. There you go. <laughs> do I get to pick first? You do. Mm -hmm. Finally. Um, part of me really needs that purple dice. How much of you needs the purple outfit? Oh, there's no way I can take that one. So if you guys want to screw me over, that's fine. There's just nothing I can do about that. I I, I like legit need this purple dice. All right. Oh, it was a six. Was it? Yes. What was it though? <laughs> really? Probably was. Let's be honest. Yeah, I'm going for not even having the gold. I'll take the three then. That's how badly I need that purple dice. Let's uh, see. Uh, 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 uh. I'll put the red in there. And then I'm going to use the wisdom to pop my tracking token down alignment again. Reactivate my cure wounds. Babidi babidi bum. The Puts same thing. So for whiz, I'm looking at what? Yeah, honorable's nice, but that's expensive. 14 plus. But, you know, who could buy it? My, Mr. Moneybags over there. Yep. How are you getting so bent, so much money? I mean, he's saving a lot of money with that heavy crossbow. He's saving money every time he buys with it. Oh, crossbow. I'm still not, I'm still not completely... Yeah, he's I keep forgetting you have that damn crossbow. I'm not actually sure how he's making as much as he is. Oh, gain one gold after I, I, using a skill card. And he's a pickpocket yeah. as well. Uh, yeah, which might have but he doesn't, have, he doesn't have very many skill cards. He has one skill card. Yeah, but I do use it quite regularly. I don't know. He's just drowning in gold somehow. I'm not. I, I spent four rounds or so not buying anything. Just cashing in that money. I don't have any armor like you two. That's true. He has literally no armor. Speak <laughs> All right, then. So, Buying um... order. So, Nerd Cube first, followed by me, followed by Maggie. Let's go. Let's get honorable in Hua. Let's get honorable in here. That's going to cost me six gold. And it's going to take me to the end of the commercial break to count it out. Six. Sweet. Uh, that budget is up, so I can do my pickpocketing again. Hooray! Up, down. Uh, decrease face value on one die. That one there. Uh, get two gold and one for making a skill. So I get three of my gold back as well. Wait, what? Yep. <laughs> Wait, you got three what? I get three gold. Pickpocket gives me two. Yeah, I reduce uh, one die. you can't use it though. I did because honorable dragged me up, so I dragged it oh. down with pickpocket. Oh, okay. That's what I've been doing. I've been buying all the stuff that raises oh, me up. Even and to uses. reset it, every sneaky bastard. Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> actually don't do that. You what? can do Decreases that. Decreases the face value of one die in your character sheet by one. But you're lowering your dice. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I yeah, because he's going for a trash top. build. He picked up yeah. reckless and weak. Yeah, so he's just fucking. Oh, he's literally man. going for a trash build. He's trying to build the worst character on purpose. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> My plan to be pathetic is working. It is working out very well, surprisingly, <laughs> so. Oh, I might actually still be able to pull off Obnoxious. That might work. So, uh, what you buying, TB? What am I buying? Hmm. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna, grab, uh, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab. Negotiate. Yeah. Damn. Let's say negotiate. I think there's something I can do with that. Like you are steadfastly weak. It's like, yes, <laughs> that makes sense. I'm a compassionate, reckless, honorable, loyal, weak, and steadfast. There's a bit of a. And, uh, very f uh, you're not focused yet. It's... No, so I guess I have to remove something in order to get two, but I get three gold. But it doesn't really help me, but whatever. Couldn't afford the leather pauldron? Unfortunately so. not. I don't think oh, I could. Well. I'm completely broke at this point. But that's yeah. fine. My final strategy may But I needed well that work. purple dice, so it was like a struggle, you know? I should All right. Upgrade and Decisions were made. Unfortunately. Okay. All right. So to make the last market deck, we take these two. And then we shuffle what remains of the discard pile. <gasps> There's a chance. There is a chance. It's a beautiful chance. My love. My love. Oh, dear. No. Nope. Not in the slightest. All right. Initiatives go back in, and this is the last round, and then we start adding some score up. This goes back in the I don't want bag. any of those. Fuck. All right. What's it's in your the turn, TV. Bag? Yes. What is in that bag? Da, 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 da. Place them on things. You gotta roll them, mate. You gotta roll them, mate. I'm gonna roll them in a minute, mate. Are you, mate? <laughs> Are you, mate? I'm just making it more impractical for you. Don't you understand? <laughs> it's all about a little bit way. A little making it more fun. I need to stop talking that way. All right. <laughs> all right. That'd be a good bard voice. <laughs> it's well, I mean, I do have obnoxious, so there is that. <laughs> Uh, where's that no, other two, dice gone? Two comes before three. Yeah, two where's before the, where's three, the two? Oh, it's over there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, you. <laughs> All right. I am going, before anything happens, I'm going to negotiate. Negotiate? Yep. We're going to start the negotiations. Negotiate? I, I, I oh, can you have assure you our blockade is perfectly legal. Uh, before the dice phase, exchange one die on your character sheet with one on the initiative cards and reorder them. What? What? Yes. What? Yes. What? Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if that will actually in any way help my cause, but I'm thinking it might. How do you negotiate when you're so obnoxious? I'm, I'm just I'm a very obnoxious <laughs> negotiator. <laughs> I'm trying to think like of how I can used, actually... You're a used car salesman of the fantasy world. That's who you are. Yes. How can I possibly play this to help? Oh, fuck. You know what I realized? I did not need that purple dice. I just screwed myself over. I should have got the other. I, the I, other. Think, I think there is a way that I can make this work for me. Because I already messed this up here. This needs to be swapped. The question fucked is, it up, am guys. I right? Fucked it up, fam. Mm. One gold equals one prayer. Oh my. <laughs> I think as clever as this might sound, I'm not sure it's actually going to do anything. Uh, I, I'm just like, I'm sorry, just, if, if I did this a couple of turns ago, then maybe. The worst point. That card could not come out of a crappier point. Yes, if game. I'd got it earlier, it would have been much more useful. But like, what if I exchanged one and then I'm thinking like, what can I then do with it? Uh, yeah, if, this would have been great. I, earlier. That's like, okay. Make your decisions. Yep, just make a them sec. wisely. Yep. Okay. I, I can make this work for me. I can make it work. Okay. Yep. So this, five. Okay. So I'm going to exchange this with this. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. And now I'm going to draw my initiative. Which is this. Oh, shit. I did math wrong. I'm going to then take that and put it here. 
which means that every single one of my craftsman backstory cards uh, gems are in the right place. Every, every last one of them. So I'll get the maximum nice. score. Nice, I fucked up mine. Get you. And I can I use that. my uh, wisdom again. Oh god, I really don't want to do that. Uh, you know, yeah, I do. I'll be okay. I could bump it down to the absolute opposite part of where it should be. That reset when it did. That's under where it is. So I can then cure wounds again. That dumps it up there, so it's just minus one. And then I could bump something up by... Don't have a die on my class color by one. So I'm looking at my int and look like, where's the most valuable place to do this? Int 14. Can I get this to where it needs to be? Five, six, seven, eight. No, not even with the bonuses can I make that happen. Yeah, you guys keep doing what you're doing. I'm just doing math. I've done moment. mine. I've taken my one. What you gonna do, Maggie? Hold on, I'm thinking. I'm holding on. It's exciting. I can't see over this massive pile of gold that I have. Nah, all right. right. <laughs> that's 12, 16, plus the one is a 17, so that's fine. My con's where it needs to be. My dex, I think, is where it needs to be. There you go. Okay, so... My strength is actually where it needs to be. Seven. Plus six. Is 13. Plus five is 18. Oh, my strength actually isn't where it needs to be. Yes, no. No, it's not. Fuck. <laughs> yes, no. Yes, no. Cure wounds was no. Shit. Oh, did I just miss four victory points out on the fucking thing? Oh, no. Uh, I just messed up too. Pretty big. Oh, there's no armor cards to fix that shit. Dex needs to be between 16 and 17, so that's where it so needs to be, right? Now I can right? swap the face of one of these things. Or with that, it's it really five as well. I'm spinning on my chair for anybody who's interested in what I'm doing. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. Shit, I'm one short. I really fucked this up, then. <laughs> my con's good, at least. Is it? The longsword gives you the plus one, but it won't do the job. Longsword only gives me that on reds. What's on the opposite side of the three? Is that the six? Wait. Oh, no, so it's three a four. is a four. A four? Yes. Yeah. Ugh. So the opposite of two is five, right? Yep. Mm. Please yeah, one stop is backseat six, gaming six, chat. Thank you. I'm wondering where I can get my next point at. I thought I did maths wrong. The long sword <laughs> does not fix my strength because I have minus two to strength because I'm a fucking halfling. And I can't yeah, use cure wounds to bump because I can't bump past six. Unless I'm doing my mathematics wrong. Actually, I... No. No. Yeah, I am doing my mathematics. Yeah, I would need... In order for this to work as a halfling, I would need all the sixes. I then lose two strength as a result. It wants 18 strength as a halfling warrior. The longsword takes me up to 17. Which is not enough. So either way, I fail to do that. And I don't think there's anything that I can do to fix that. So I'm going to have to rely on things like my armor sets and my armor story. Sets. Oh, the armor sets. I thought you said my marmer set. You're like, unleash the marmer set. <laughs> I have to rely on my marmer set. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so I did, did not pull this off particularly well. Are you saying that Halfling Warrior at the end of the day wasn't the best choice? Halfling cost? Warrior maybe wasn't the best choice. I would have <laughs> actually been better off as Halfling Barbarian. I did make it very hard for myself. All right. Is everybody ready to do buys for anyone that actually yeah. has any money? I do. Okay, because I, I, I go first, but I have no money whatsoever. Are you going to Discord? Um, I mean, I might as well. It doesn't really help. 
Well, you could make sure no one gets nimble. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, because that's one extra victory point, isn't it? So. Yep. Yeah, screw it. No one gets to buy that. God damn it. I knew that's what he's going to get. God damn it. I wanted that card. I could have been dead. <laughs> well, I would have got you can go to hell. cards based off that card. Yep. That way, that way. Well, you can, do you want to buy any of the others? No, they're all crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. They're, they're literally two of those are useless. I'm gonna throw the longbow in the bin. Get two gold. Put it on my big pile of money. That's me down. Mm. Uh, last by no means least, Maggie. Anything yeah. worth buying there? Very mind you can use skills immediately if you want. And the two go for this gun doesn't matter because we're at the end of the game. I don't want any of these, so... Money has nothing to do with score. So. Yeah, money doesn't have anything to do with score. Nope. I don't want to take any of these because I don't want to have to move. So okay. I'll just... I mean, discard and get... Money doesn't give us anything, so... Yeah, pretty much not. Unless you have that card. Someone discarded. But I'm still going to take the money anyway. All right. Now we score up and see who managed to pull it off. Hooray! So score goes in this order. Attribute goals. So you've got to see which of your attribute goals you've met based on your I class. Still get to increase one to five. You then got class color dice, your alignment cards, your backstory card, your armor cards, and your trait cards. So you got I to add them all get, up. I'm I just didn't gonna... get any of my attribute goals. Well, that's unfortunate, considering you spent a lot on getting all of that. Yeah, my dex is plus two, which is... I didn't see, and that means I didn't make that one that's been sitting there for ages. That's fine. I didn't want to be friends with anyone. All right. Yeah, so there are, there's a couple of additional scoring rules, so... Ooh, class color dice. Class all right, so the game's ended. Because it doesn't matter what I... Great. Yeah, game's ended. The final scoring goes as follows. Reputation and stars are awarded during final scoring. During final scoring, each player uses the tracking token from their class card and the charts on the back of their player card, which we don't have. We got a little counter. We have a little counter instead, so that's fine. Okay, so we start with attribute goals. So we look at our card and see how many of them we got, how many of them we didn't. The ones that we got, we add onto our score. The ones that we didn't, we don't. So I failed strength by one, so that was a fuck up. I think I fucked up decks as well. That had to be between 16 and 17. I got 15. So that was a fuck up. I would have been fine if I'd held on to that damn uh, knife. Con, um, I think I did get. I need a con of 17. I got 6, 6, and 4. But plus 1 for the long sword. So I did get con. So that's 3 points. Int. I definitely did not get int. Wisdom. I didn't get wisdom. And charisma. <laughs> on 12, 13, 14. I did get that because of my halfling bonus. So attribute goals, I got five. Which is pretty terrible. Yep. I've got two so far. I got con. Sell some stars. We've got a fair bit of gold sitting around. Did you just add a, did you just get twenty-two from attribute yeah. goals? You oh, I've counted, every, I've counted Wait, it. from attributes? Oh, no, but I've counted two? everything. I've counted all of it. I got bored. You take it off. Oh, okay, because oh. you may have missed some stuff. All right. Oh, okay. So the next You're supposed thing, to do one at a time. Let's you, do it all you, one at a time. So you, refresh your right. shit. None. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm none. All right. All right. The second thing to do oh, to God. add up is to every single class color dice that you got gets you an additional rep point. So three. I got one, two, three, four, five, six from that. Takes you well, eleven three. right across the board. See, I didn't know that was a thing until right now. Yep, you do now. <laughs> this, okay. The second time we play, then you look at your rules. alignment card. What does it say? I get minus one for fucking up my alignment. I get okay, three. and I get plus three. Backstory. So for each one of these, you matched. There's three different categories. If you matched all six, you get six points. I matched all six. What was the other thing you said something about before alignment? Before alignment, yeah. Before alignment, class color. Yeah. Uh, class color dice. Class color. Class color dice. You get what yep. for that? One per. One per. Oh shit! I should got more yellow one. dice. Your class is gold. Gold. 
No, wait, no, black. You're here. You're black. You're yeah. Here. Oh, I'm black. black. Oh, so I you should get, get one. one from there that. weren't even that many black dice that came out of the stupid bag. I mean, there were quite a few. They're mostly on Nerd Cube's board, not yours. Oh. I stole them, ironically. Mm -hmm. God, I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, keep All right. going. Armor. You earn reputation cards of sets of armor. Yes. Based on color. Okay. So one, two. So in my two. case, I would get two plus three. Uh, Tower Shield counts as additional armor card for an incomplete set. So that would take me up to five as a total. One, two, three, four, five. So if it says set, if I have two, I get three. That's for the full set, right? And so for this, I get two. Yeah. And so for this, I get three. You can't buy a purple or black class. So yeah, you'd get one extra point on the. Yes, yeah, so I have three. Or four. Four for those ones, yeah. Shit, I need to have one. <laughs> and then for these two, I get this is two and this is three. So together, I get five. Yes. Current scores are 22, 21, and seven. <laughs> uh, how did you. Okay. I've been playing a different game. Well, let's see if you have, because the last scoring is traits. All right, three. Did you manage to fuck us over completely with your weird trait thing? Three I have no balls. traits. I have Six. no. I have one trait, but nothing counts. Six for reckless, because I got three that were five or less. Yep. Uh, compassionate two, if it's got the seven. <gasps> color, only does. I could have totally Wild bought that. Weak. I didn't uh, realize. Two, because my strength was under eight, and steadfast two. Uh, for things I got twenty-two points. This says when selecting an initiative card with gold on it, gain an additional gold. I didn't realize that, and I had I didn't gather any of those, so I could have totally well, gotten that last leather piece. Yep. Damn. Well, so happens when you don't read the cards. I just didn't remember that that was twenty-two. Is it? Do we have a tie? <laughs> we got a tie. We have a fucking tie. After all of that, we have a goddamn tie. I would have twenty-two, wanted 22 and twenty-one. I had more money. I am the winner. No, we're having a roll-off. Here's a, a dice. Roll up. I Here's said a roll up. Here's a dice. <laughs> roll it. Roll it. We can't have a draw on this show. Oh, oh, oh it's a six. Oh, you won. There's no way I can beat that. There's no well, way. I mean, you could. Eat. Oh my god. Oh, roll off oh, again. Roll off again. No, nerd, nerd. Let's just be together. We'll be okay. we'll be number one nope. together. Nope. No let's just be like fuck no TV. We're Three. number no one. The he's, he's the no, loser. Who cares? He's the loser. The winner. Is, all right. In that case, I'll roll for you. That's how it's gonna be. Here's Maggie's dice. There we go. TV's like, it's I need to know who the winner is. Who the winner is? Declare victory. All right. Yeah. Nerd Q wins with a roll yeah. of six. There we go. He threatened with a heavy crossbow to make sure that he would win. It's like either that or I'm the winner because you do can't agree one way or the other. <laughs> so the weakest we person can agree. With the most we can money agree box. that you are the loser and we are the winners. Yeah, that's why I agree on. Yeah, that's I what I agree on. I don't agree with that. <laughs> I refuse to agree. Oh man. Oh, he has flipping okay, it tables takes a while disabled. to get into. Indeed, I do. <laughs> I You're too weak. It. Ironically, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get enough strength, obviously. Uh. No. There we go. <laughs> well, that's how that goes. Obviously, it usually goes a lot quicker than that. That but, was cool. I am. Oh, I'm, I dig this game. That's. that's there's a fun. lot of strategy in it. There's lots yeah, of ways to win. So you're saying we can't? Time. You can't buy this game yet? Can well, you can. Um, it oh, was. Okay. I was off sale for a while. Uh, it's okay. back on sale. The place that I got it in the U.S. is Cool Stuff Inc. And I picked okay. it up for about twenty-five dollars. There's also. Yeah, I'm gonna this, buy it. This, this is actually pretty good. This will be a good like tabletop game when your friends are interested. Yeah, I think if you've got anyone that plays like RPGs, they'd be into the theme and all that kind of thing. I don't even think you have to be into RPGs necessarily. Like, this is just a good competitive game. Yeah, pretty much. And the dumbest, weakest person wins. Indeed. The, the, <laughs> the worst strategy is the most effective. 